Okay, in today's video, we are going to go over an introduction to electric power. We're going to be talking about DC electric power in this video. And this is the equation, the equation. This is the definition, the most common definition I think you'll see for power. The most general definition, oftentimes you'll see this when we talk about mechanical power. It just says that the power is the rate at which work is done. It's how fast you do your work. For electric power, we like to give a little bit more specific definition. It's the rate at which electrical energy is transferred to a circuit or to an element in a circuit. Because what happens is, in a circuit, in elect for electric power, you have electrons, and the electrons get their energy from a voltage source, typically a battery. We measure that energy in volts, which is coulombs, excuse me, joules per coulomb, which is electric potential energy. So it's kind of the amount of energy a volt is the amount of energy that's per coulomb of charge. Now, when the electrons move through that circuit, then they collide with the atoms in the elements that are in the circuit, such as the heating element or like if you have a, a toaster or a hair dryer, the el electrons are actually moving and colliding with the components in the circuit because they have a higher resistance. And then they transfer some of their energy or they transfer all of their energy to those components and then that energy is typically converted into heat or light or motion. And that's what electric power is, is how fast that transfer of energy occurs. All right, now, for some real basics about electric power, power, whether talking about mechanical electric power, has the symbol P. It has the units, the watt, which has the abbreviation capital W. And for example, we would say the power is equal to 1800 watts. We write P is equal to 1800 W. We don't say P is equal to 1800, we just say power is equal to 1800 watts. One watt is equal to one joule of electric potential energy being converted or being used every second. So we say that a watt is kind of the abbreviation for a joule per second. So for example, if you have a hair dryer, here's a hair dryer, it's an 1875 watt hair dryer. It means that it is converting 1,875 joules of energy per second into heat in this case. Now you can also see this more very common in a light bulb. It's a two watt light bulb, an LED watt, an LED light bulb. It's using two joules or converting two joules of electric potential energy per second. This light bulb gives off as much light as a traditional maybe incandescent 60 watt light bulb. And the last thing we have here is a food steamer. When you use a 120 volt source, this food steamer will produce 900 watts of power to heat and steam your food. 900 joules of energy, electric energy is being converted every second. Now we're going to go through the equations, how we calculate electric power. We're going to start off again. This is kind of the most general equation for power. We see this most commonly with uh, mechanical power. The power is equal to the work done divided by the time. It's the rate. It's how fast you do work. But for electric power, we can say that the work is equal to the charge, the amount of charge, and the potential difference through which that charge is moved. Because when we move a charge through a potential difference, we do work. We can substitute that into our equation for work. That means that the power is now equal to the charge times the voltage divided by the time, we can get out our equation for the current, because the current is the coulombs, the amount of charge per second that passes a given point in the circuit. Solve that for Q. Q is now equal to E, E, I times T, and substitute that into our equation. Now we have power is equal to the current times the time times the voltage divided by the time. Those two times are the same, they cancel, and this is kind of the most common equation you'll see for electric power. It says that the power is equal to the current times the voltage. Now there are two other equations you should be aware of for electric power, and we get those equations uh, by substituting in or using Ohm's law, V equals I times R. You can see that have the power is equal to the current times the voltage, and the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. We can substitute IR in for V, and the one of the other equations is the power is equal to the current squared times the resistance. Okay, and the third equation we can get from now taking Ohm's law, solving it for I, I is equal to V divided by R, substituting that into here for I, and the power is equal to the voltage squared divided by 
the resistance. So these are the three equations that you use to calculate electric power. There's kind of three things here, the current, the voltage, and the resistance. If you're given the I and the V, you use the that equation to calculate power. If you're given the current and the resistance, you use this equation to calculate the power. If you're given two things like the voltage and the resistance, they use this to calculate the power. Now, let's do a couple of quick examples. Here's a DC traction motor. You can see here we know the power, so we know the power. We have the voltage, we have the voltage, and we want to calculate the current. This is the equation we're going to use. Solve that equation for the current is the power divided by the voltage. Substitute the values in 5,000 watts because this is 5,000 kilowatts divided by the voltage of 72 volts. And you get that when you use that DC traction motor with a 72 volt source, it is going to pull or draw 96 amps of current that is a lot of current. <clears throat> okay, last example here. Back to light bulbs. Okay, we want to know, calculate the resistance of a 72 watt light bulb that draws 0 0.8 amps of current. We want to calculate the resistance. So we're going to use this equation or this equation. We know the power, we know the current, so therefore we're going to use this equation. That is P is equal to the I, the current squared times R. We want to know the resistance, solve that for the resistance, the power divided by the current squared. Plug our values in, 72 watts, 0 0.8 amps squared, which is 0 0.64, and we get that the resistance of that light bulb is 113 ohms. Okay, so there you go. We went over definition, kind of explanation of power. I went over the specifics like the units and the abbreviations. I showed you how to get the three equations for calculating electric power, and then we did a couple of quick examples. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following three things. Four things now. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, please don't forget that sharing is caring. Share this video with your friends. Show them how much you care. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.